when my friend Florence went into hospice, the hospice worker told her caregivers not to talk about dying. And as Florence's health deteriorated, I, I became concerned that Florence you know, didn't really know what was going on or what was happening to her. Finally, as Florence lay dying, I asked the hospice worker, when can we start talking about dying? And she said, oh, well, now is a good time. I was like, holy crap. Anyway, I leaned over and, um, and uh, whispered and spoke into Florence's ear. She was, she was really out of it. She was, she was practically in a coma. I, I said, you know, Florence, you're, you're very, very ill. And then all of a sudden she opened her eyes and said, well, I've never been sick before. I was like, wow, that's, that's right, Florence. You know, just because you or we've never been sick before, just because we've never been a victim or lost our freedom, it doesn't mean that we're never going to be. It just means we were never ready to talk about it before. Welcome. Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. You know, growing up, we, we never used seatbelts in the car. And we probably ate a lot of red dye number 12. And spiritual stuff, well, that seemed like stuff for weirdos. Today, people are well-versed in nutritional health, fitness, and finance, and even spiritual health. But few of us spend a lot of time on our political health. I was talking to my friend Leslie, and uh, she's a lovely conservative lady here in downtown Chicago, and she even ran for, for office once. I asked her if she had sent in her witness slips against the proposed rank voting legislation here in Illinois this week. She said, no, I didn't. She said, I don't do, I don't do any of that stuff. She said, all I do is, is vote. I, I get that, and it's important. Voting, very important. But it's just like growing up without the seatbelts. I didn't even know our family car had seatbelts until later I learned they were stopped into the cracks of the seat. It's, it's probably time to dig those seatbelts out and start using them. Voting is a great place to start. And how about the election integrity surrounding our vote? Can we think of the election integrity like the seatbelts? It's an additional measure of uh, being engaged uh, to assure and protect the impact of our vote by holding office holders accountable by filing the witness slips, affidavits, and calling your representatives. At Conservative Hour, Coffee Hour, we've, we've been on this now for over two years, and most topics we've been over uh, coming up now on the second time around. In the meantime, our Democrat friends are joining us in the ranks of being hopping mad. It seems now is the time to, um, to start working together. Yes, we've uh, never been sick before, but now we are. We all are, no matter where you are on the political spectrum. I've been reaching out to key people for ideas for a strategic plan. The plan can be as simple as being informed, knowing who your representatives are, and taking action and holding office holders accountable. You can find out who your elected officials are at USA Gov elected officials. And you can register to vote and encourage others to register to vote at votegov.com. And you can also look up policy issues at goodgoodgood.co and find out uh, what your upcoming ballot will look like at ballotpedia.org. I will include these links in the description of the uh, video for your later reference. And if you have any ideas, please, please share them for our strategic plan. If you're working with other people and groups, well, ask them, what is your strategic plan? It can be a breakthrough moment. My friend Florence died shortly after I mentioned to her that she was dying. We all want to have a good life. Florence had a very good life. She was a lovely, lovely lady, and she exemplified every moral and social vir virtue with poise, grace, and style. It might it might not be polite talking politics, but you know, 
because it might upset the the patient. And um, the idea of waiting though till it's too late, well, that that's really not very kind. But it's probably the kindest thing we can do working together. If you'd like to help us uh, work on our strategic plan, that's probably what is needed now before it's too late. If you'd like to join us at Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.